In a post-apocalyptic world overrun by ruthless machines, humanity's survival rests on the shoulders of one resilient individual, the last sentinel. With humanity on the brink of extinction, he embarks on a dangerous journey through a treacherous wasteland, determined to uncover the truth and confront the ultimate threat to our existence. This is how it all began. Sully and Cassidy, the corporal and private, are attempting to catch fish in a net as the storm that will soon arrive approaches in the opening scene of the film. They are overjoyed to see the fish, but the storm arrives early, and the net falls back into the water before they can save the fish. Cassie climbs to safety, while Sully stays back to save it. He grasps the net, but the fish is lost at the last moment. The storm is intensifying as we watch the lights start to flicker, objects start to clatter, books start to fall off the shelves, and the pipes start to rattle. Baines is frustrated as water suddenly starts to burst from underneath the pipes. Although he tries to stop the leak, the pressure is more intense. He also becomes increasingly frustrated because his hand keeps getting caught in the pipes. As the water begins to rise, Baines pulls his stuck arm from the pipes, saving himself from drowning. But a huge wave is coming towards them, and as the wave gets closer, the platform starts to shake even more. The wave crashes into the platform, and luckily they are alright, but their catch is gone once again, leaving them without food. The following morning, Sully starts to make the food, but stops because there is no water. He then notices that one of the pipes is missing, and he immediately snaps at Baines, because it was he who took the pipe to try to fix the broken one from the previous night. Baines is dissatisfied with the food, which Sully serves to them on separate plates after finishing the cooking. He is so furious that the fish is gone. Sully accuses him of being responsible for the water being cut off as they begin to argue about the lost fish. Baines continues to explain that the platform is leaning and that the level 1 walking is completely missing, and that they should get away from the platform as soon as possible. But no one has the right answer to that. He asks again where they can go, but the sergeant tells him that they need to wait for an order and to be patient, since they all volunteered to be there. But Baines is not happy with that answer either, saying that it's been three months past their due. After some time, a small ship shows up on the radar. If the team does not communicate, they must fire their artillery at any approaching ship, according to protocol. Sully is tasked with inspecting the ship, while the others smash that like and subscribe button! <laughs> I mean, while the others wait. It is empty when Sully arrives, but he does see some food and supplies. When he sits down to enjoy some chocolate, the sergeant has already prepared the bomb, codenamed Martha, for the ship. Just in time, Sully chimed in, stating that Martha had been turned off and the ship was now empty. Although Baines and Sully have decided it is time to leave their positions and return home, the captain insists that they must disassemble the ship and remove all of her components before the next storm hits. They are suddenly united against the sergeant. The crew starts to fight because the sergeant won't let them leave. Sully and Baines have already made up their minds, but only Cassidy has the power to influence the sergeant's decision. He says that in some time, two people will leave and two will remain. Because Cassidy has offered to stay, Sully is irate with the prospects. He assures her that he won't leave without her, so either she departs in his place or they both remain. He is told to leave after she admits that she doesn't love him. Sully packs his belongings while the sergeant responds to his inquiry about the other continent. He claims that aside from the fact that the inhabitants of the other continent are after them, they are exactly like their own people in terms of eating, drinking, excreting, and living. Sully gets that the sergeant is a good man, but he's too preoccupied with protocol to notice. Things quickly turn gloomy, just as they might be improving. A ship is coming toward the base, while an alarm is sounding. When Sully and Cassidy realize it is their found ship that has floated away, the sergeant orders Baines to prepare the artillery to fire at it. In defiance of the sergeant, Baines fires at his ear. Sully is terrified by the situation and decides to use the artillery instead, which destroys the ship. After being shot in the ear, Baines is completely lost, but Cassidy hits the sergeant in the head before he can shoot him. They lock him in a room, leaving Baines to wander around, attempting to break him open. Sully forbids Baines from taking any harsh action against the man, despite his desire to kill him. Sully is informed by the sergeant that Baines needs to be brought out because things with him worsen and he starts to stop engineering and drink a lot, suggesting that the ship might be an empty vessel. It had arrived three months before and had changed course, which had concerned the sergeant, 
and it was one of their comrades who might have killed the crew. Sully doesn't buy it, and walks away. Intoxicated, Baines puts violent pressure on Cassidy before stealing the keys from her. By the time Sully arrives, he has already inserted the pin that will launch Martha. Sully reminds him of his wife, Liz, and assures him that everything will be fine soon. It works, but Baines already forgot the pin's final digit. After that conversation, Baines recovers and returns to normal, repairing the base's problems. Meanwhile, Cassidy shows Sully a photo of her family, which Sully had asked her earlier if she didn't want to see. Now she tells him that when she was sent away for school, an enemy raid killed her parents and brother. Baines also informs Sully and Cassidy that the sergeant died after jumping out of a window. The storm is expected the following day, and Cassidy says she will go collect some debris for the materials they require. Sully is informed by Baines that he is accompanying Cassidy, and Baines thanks Sully for his support and for making him think of his wife, who was expecting when he left home. He hugs Sully in anticipation of going back to see her and the child someday, even though he doesn't even know if it's a boy or a girl. Before leaving, he tells Sully that he did something important for the cats, swallows, and horses. Sully asked, if Martha destroys the world, what will happen to the dogs, horses, and swallows when they first started drinking together? Sully doesn't pay it much attention at first, but he eventually gets it. Sully tries to catch the fish after Cassidy and Baines depart. He pulls up Sergeant's body alongside the fish and discovers a bullet wound in his head. Sully searches through their personal information for all the hints after realizing that one of Baines or Cassidy is the traitor among them. He quickly realizes that the sergeant was telling the truth about the ship, and at that point, the current scene and what occurred three months ago are shown simultaneously. That evening, someone in a hood made his way to the ship and killed the entire crew. Sully's suspicions were confirmed when Cassidy returned from the debris site by herself, proving that she was the one who committed the crime. He pretends to believe her when she says Baines chose to walk through the debris, but the next morning, she wakes up alone in bed. By the time Cassidy shows up, Sully has already prepared Martha, and he is ready for the explosion after entering the code. He tells her he should have known, because it never rains on their continent. Cassidy was a double agent, whose goal was to prevent Martha from being activated. They are the sole possessors of Martha. She has now caused the destruction of the entire world. However, Bane's last action was to save the horses, cats, and swallows, so what he actually accomplished before they set sail was to permanently disarm Martha. Sully and Cassidy are now the last surviving soldiers from each continent at the base. To protect the swallows, they make the decision to fight the enemy from whichever side they may come. The movie ends with some swallows making a sound and showing up far from the military base. Subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notifications so you never miss any of them.